With Wimbledon less than a week away and some massive tournaments happening this week with some massive names playing, we actually have a lot of names that have pulled out of Wimbledon already this week and updated list to the one we put out a couple weeks ago. Also, we're going to talk about who is actually injured going into Wimbledon or has an injury cloud. Let's start with the withdrawals from the women's side of things. So these are the players that have confirmed that they are not playing at Wimbledon this year. Simona Halep, she's pulled out or she's been forced to pull out, of course, because she's still suspended. Anissa Mova's also pulled out. Radu Kanu still recovering from surgery. Van Udvank and Tomanovic is the latest to withdraw, still with that knee problem that she's had at the start of the year and for the entire season so far. On the men's side of things, Rafa Nadal, he's pulled out. Draper has also pulled out. Chilich also out. Karina Buster is also pulled out. And Hashinov, the latest player to withdraw from the men's side of things, which is a shame because he's had such a good 12 months at slams, making the quarterfinals or better at every slam in the last couple. Now having a look at the players that have got injury clouds or that might be in doubt to play the tournament. Started with Paola Bedosa. She has a back problem that she's been dealing with for the last couple of months. In fact, she's actually pulled out of the Australian Open and the French Open this year already. And if you see footage of her training, she has this massive back brace on, so keep an eye on her. She might not play Wimbledon. Berrettini is the next one. He has an abdominal strain, which he seems to always have. He's had a lot of these problems with that torso region, and he is in doubt of playing Wimbledon this year. Alina Rabakina, she's also got a little bit of an injury cloud, or not really an injury, because of course she pulled out of the French Open with an illness, and also pulled out this week of a tournament with the same illness. So she's just trying to get better, so that she can play tennis again at the highest level, and of course she is the defending champion. So there is a concern there. And Nick Kyrgios, he's still battling that knee problem that has forced him out of the entire season. He had surgery earlier in the year, and it just seems like he hasn't quite recovered from that surgery and trying to force his way back into Wimbledon. So there's four players there that are in some doubt going into the third Grand Slam of the year. So there it is. That is the withdrawal list and some of the players that are in doubt to play the tournament. But let me know down in the comments below. How do those four players that are in doubt, who do you think will actually not play Wimbledon? Do we think any of those players will put withdraw? I think Bedosa and Kyrgios are very, very 50-50 for me on playing Wimbledon. I think we will get Sinner and maybe Berrettini might sneak through. But... The others, I'm, I'm very scared, especially for Kyrgios, who, of course, lit up Wimbledon last year with some controversy and just amazing tennis. But uh, let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to play Wimbledon next week out of that list? And who are you going to miss the most out of the list of withdrawals so far?